hard, hard movement to ride well, especially these days. Mm -mm. Okay, so this is a case of several things happening wrong. And there were obvious things wrong, which is good for you all to see. One, he wasn't easy. It didn't happen easily. There wasn't a, like a simple, just sit there and just goes and goes. I had to ride to make that all happen. And while I was riding to make it happen, the places where I had to add, he stiffened to. So into the flying change, and especially to the right, to the, from the left to the right change, and on the right lead going sideways, it was like, like this. And that's that labored look. I mean, we like to be able to sit there and just relax and say, oh, that's happening easily, you know? And it didn't. So we'll try again. It's, it's hard because he thinks, as I add things, he thinks that it's difficult for him. Ho, 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 bending. Ho, 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 good. So, that was a little bit better. Now, perfect. What do you guys think of, what would you say about that right there? That one was a seven. The, for, forget the zigzag. The, uh, oh, I'm, I'm sorry, don't forget the zigzag. That was a seven. What about the, the extended? Wasn't quite enough. Enough. Could have been a little bit It was like, more. it was yep. flat and sort of boring, huh? Yep. Boring. <laughs> Now, you notice the placement of these pillets right on the center line where the judge can see if the horse goes crooked in or out of them, can see how small they must be. The difficulty in the Grand Prix test is that the placement of everything to check for straightness. Uh, there's too much pulling right there to even go for it. So I give him a little push forward. Good boy. Half hold. And then another hard transition right here. Upper leg, almost a little bit early. And the finish of the test, deep passage. It was pulling me through the right rein to it. I tried to smile and act like nothing's happening. <laughs> Made up a little bit of points right there. Lost a few more right there. Yeah. At You know, he's a sweetheart. There, there, there are no perfect horses. And no matter what, a horse takes you knowing him and then you sort of figuring out the pluses and minuses 
and then say, okay, we've got to minimize these minuses in the ring for that eight minutes, and we've got to maximize the pluses, and we've got to sort of gloss over just a little bit some of the places that might be uh, not quite as perfect in the animal, and really sit up proud when we know we've done something right. Like, I have some riders that do fabulous zigzags. At the end of the, the, at the, end of the zigzag, when they're facing the judge and they've hit that last flying change, I tell them, look straight into the C judge's eyes at that point, and tell that judge with your eyes that you're waiting for your nine. That you know it, <laughs> that you know it, you know you've done it, you have it, Carol Lavelle does that well. She'll, she'll do her pirouette, say, at the end. She'll look straight up into the judge's eye and say, yes, I have it. <laughs> and, and that is part of what I was saying earlier about showmanship. Showmanship means that you know you're screwing up a lot of the time, but you still have to finish the test. What all of us want to keep saying to you is to look for this harmony every day while you're riding and then when stuff is going wrong and you're going oh I'm, I'm trying to get to pee and I'm about to like wave goodbye to it while I'm while I'm in my half pass sit there half halt again because the harmony is always a half halt away okay and when it doesn't happen in that half halt it's another half halt away